singers, uh, good, uh, singing it. became something I really I wanted to pursue. And uh, I just, nobody actually liked my name Trey Songs when I first did it. My mama told me it was crazy. My producer told me it was whack. So, but here I am, Trey Songs. Absolutely. I, I see you go out with your mom a lot. She's always yeah. with you. Your mom is pretty young. Yeah, she is. Uh, my mother had me when she was 17. Uh, so. Like we did a lot of growing up together and she's a very strong woman and uh, one of my best friends actually. So like when I when I bring her out it's it's because she's so proud of me and just to see her in that life. So I think my sister informed me that you wanted to pursue singing and your mom told you that you had like a limited amount of time before you had to go to college. I want you to explain that story if that is true. I'm not exactly uh, it is true. Uh, my mother was very much behind me musically, uh, and my mother's actually not only she's a, a business partner, she's a friend, she's a support system, uh, and she told me I had a year to achieve these goals as within her finance. Her finance would cut off after a year. I would have to get a job. I had to go to school, and I, I, I worked actually during that time. I was a barber. I was cutting hair during the time. Uh, she was actually sending me money because uh, we, we didn't have a lot of money, but she wanted to see me succeed. And she like spent most of her money trying to do that. Oh, that's beautiful. So, tell us who is your who is the favorite person that you've collaborated with thus far? Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin is actually the first verse you hear on my first first album, and uh, that's still monumental to me. I work with a lot of people, but to to have worked with the Queen of Soul, somebody who went through so many different things for me to be where I am is uh, still special and beautiful. Of course. So tell me someone out there that you would like to collaborate with that you haven't gotten the opportunity to collaborate with yet. I mean, There's a million people I'd like to work with. I mean, anybody that's talented, anybody that's hard working and focused, it's not no uh, specific wish list for me right now. I, 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 I love what Pharrell's doing, I love what oh, yeah. uh, Tumbo's doing. Like, I think our collaborations are our best when they're organic and they're real. That's The greatest thing I've learned, lesson I've learned in the music industry is uh, there's so many different lessons. If I had to pinpoint one, it would be to uh, to work hard. And this is this is like a, it may sound cliche, but uh, hard work can be talent, and talent doesn't work hard. And this is not just in the music industry because I always wasn't expected to be the Trey songs that I am now. I was never looked at that way when my first album came out, even when my second album came out. And, but I continue to work hard and be persistent with what it is that I wanted, what it is that I, I felt was mine to have. And uh, that's not only in the music industry, that's in every industry, that's in every walk of life. If you're persistent and you work hard at anything, no matter what, then your time is going to come. You just have to. Because the day you stop could be the day you were supposed to get what you had. That's a good question. Be expressed. You know, whether it be when a rich nigga wants you, whether it be when a woman's fed up. It's a situation that occurs and, and is relatable to somebody. Music is not just for one person that wants to hear positivity, wants to hear this, uplifted. People have free speech to give the music that they want to do. As far as my music, I can only speak and tell my story. And uh, I feel like my album will be a great representation of what it is that I do and what it is that I stand for as a man. Uh, the good and the bad, because I think everybody has different sides to them. Everybody's not this, uh, this person that they portray to the world all the time. So uh, what I think uh, is dope about my next album being very vulnerable, very real. Yeah, I mean, I'm time is every day, right? And, you know, reach people the way that they do. And, you know, how does it feel being one of those big artists to blend your name to a festival like this? I think music festivals are, uh, are dope as far as a union and bringing people together are concerned because you have different acts and you have different fans. Uh, like, maybe uh, a Kelly Rowland fan might not have been at my show, or maybe a Trey Songz fan might not have been at a Jamie Foxx show, but us all together brings a different sense of uh, wanting to see a whole set. Uh, and, and furthermore, you know, festivals give uh, the vibe of, of togetherness and, and, and it's, it's joy. You celebrate and outside of the music is everything else that you get. You got your family, you got the people that you come with, you got good food, you got so many good things to be happy about. The jazz is, is something that's a stable in our community, especially in black culture, so to be a part of it uh, at this point in my career. And I have so many people singing my songs and loving my music is just a great feeling and I hope that we can do it again. Yeah.